to do a video and I'm just gonna make a coffee. Just at a car park. But I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully the GoPro picks it up. See, it's so blue. <laughs> Can't. It's unreal. Right now it's like 23 degrees. We're at the tip of Scotland, about 10, 15 miles from uh, John O'Groats. And yeah, we're gonna go down to the beach. But first, I'm gonna have a coffee. As you can tell, it's windy. Let's go. Crystal clear, what the hell? Some of you are probably wondering why I'm wet. Well, I just fell in the sea. No, I'm just, just answering a question for the Q&A. So, you know what? I've done it for the Q&A, might as well just do it for this video as well. The water's not warm, I'm telling you that. It might be blue, but Iceland and Faroe Islands is over there, so it's not. I'm doing this because you guys are the best. We are recording. Right. I am dry, you know, that's crazy. On to the next spot. Right. Right, sick new spot. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Fucking off the scale. So there's a track right behind us right now and it goes on for about a mile. Just bumpy. I thought I was gonna get stuck at one point, <laughs> but we made it, my tires didn't blow up. And just over there, you got some like abandoned ruins. They look quite old, I don't know how old. And then right out there, you got the open ocean. It's just, you can just hear like the wind, it's just great. Wow. I can't believe, this is what I live for. The wind might be quite bad, but finding these spots is unreal. And sometimes it can be stressful, but 
when you find gems like this, it makes it all worth it. So yeah, I've just parked up to my to my right, to your left. Um, should be sheltered from the wind, and I'm starving. I'm really, really, I'm starving. Um, after that cold swim, well, that cold dip in the ocean, I feel like some fish wraps. I think I'm gonna make. I got some inspiration off YBS Youngblood, so shout out to you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hungry. Right, let's go make them, and then later on we can go have a look down there. Right, so the eggs. What I like to do, what is easiest anyway, get one of these plastic bags that lock. So I'll just, um, all right, got an improviser. Not the, not the best way to do, but it's only me eating it. And then you can close it if you want. Look. I'll just get up. And then we're just gonna cut the fish up and then plop it in there, into the breadcrumbs, and then give it a nice fry. And then the breadcrumbs, literally just emptied it into this bag. And then once, yeah, you, you know how breading goes. Once the egg's done, and the fish is in the egg, straight into here. So that's done. Lime cut up into some wedges. With the fish then, um, ideally I would have liked to do a catch and cook, but I've had no luck yet. So from the supermarket, cod fillets, so that'll do perfectly. Avocado. Now the fish is already skinned and boned, filleted. So all I have to do, cut it up into chunks. It's as easy as that. So I want quite big chunks. I don't want to overcook it. Oh yeah, I cannot, my mouth is watering. And just enough to fry it. So I'll turn that right on. I'll put it on a lower heat just so I can breadcrumb. So the first thing I want to do is get the eggs in the bag and then take the fish and then just plop it in without spilling any. And you can see the fish is in there. Close it up or as much as possible. And then you just give it, mix around, just a coat. This is just the, this is like the lazy man's way of breadcrumbing. And then that's done. And I'm gonna turn it off because that's smoking already, wow. Tell you what, this stove is really good. <laughs> and that's that. And then you get the breadcrumbs. And then you can, you can put them all in at once if you want, it's up to you. But what I'm gonna do is, so it's taken out of the the egg, and then I'm just gonna put it straight in. So I'll do about half. You can see, straight in like that. And when you're taking out the egg, I just give it a bit of a drain off. So what I'm gonna do now, leaving some air in it, like that, you just shake it around and then it coats it. Easy as that. I do this for about 30 seconds to a minute and I'll show you. And it should look something like that. 
Now we're cooking. Let's go, man. So. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, these look so good. That was hot. Whew. All right, now we've got some more to go. Can't wait for this. Hopefully that stays. Yes, I did one with lime, one without, and one with chili mayo and one without. The moment you've all been waiting for. I've just had a bite, totally forgot to record it, <laughs> but it's good. so good got this as well wow oh, fucking hell that's really good go try that You got the fish, the salad, avocado, the salt pepper on it, the chili mayo, the wrap's good. This really is what life is about. This view, if you could see this, you'll see it later, trust me. And the wind, the, the, the good thing about the wind though, the midges, it blows them away, so I prefer the wind because the midges are just unreal. How annoying they are. Oh, man. So good. Mm. I'm making this again, for sure. Sun's setting over there. But it looks like there's a sunset that way as well. Right, I'm going into the van because it is chilly now. I need to record this because I can't use my camera because I'm getting a time lapse, but this is 
probably the best sunset I've ever seen in my life. You can't see it because it's way too bright, but the sun for me is literally just the perfect ball and you can see it going beneath the horizon. Wow. What a place. <sighs> Look at that sky. wind chilly Whew. I've seen the comments, I've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs>